YouTube. It's a beautiful day. It's over 40 degrees, which means it feels warm compared to the weather we've been having. And I have some sausage and eggs cooking slowly on the griddle right now. And then we're going to go out and hike and look for some deer sheds. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, deer sheds are not my specialty. I have a handful of deer sheds all around my house right here as decorations. I think they make great decorations and they're really cool. Um, I used to absolutely love finding them until I got really into elk sheds. The reason is even when you find a small elk shed, it's still like a big antler, right? Compared to any of the deer. It's just more exciting to me to find elk sheds because they're big and I typically go in areas where there's not even small elk to begin with. These big bulls hang out together. When you're going deer shed hunting, like you have, it doesn't really like, it's not the same as elk shed hunting where the big bulls kind of hang out together or like the big deer hang out together. It's a little more scattered in my opinion where you're finding like a two point, a four point. It takes a lot to find like a really good deer shed. This is just my opinion. Some people crush it. And I think that's awesome. I'm just being honest. I'm not very good at it. I've gotten out of it and away from it for years. I've gotten way more into elk sheds, but it's a beautiful day. The deer are shedding. I picked a spot. I use Scout to Hunt and their new elevation bands. I picked a spot in the green elevation bands, which is roughly mid 6,000 feet in elevation where I found deer sheds before. And I picked a spot where I can pull off the road, hike back in there, and be in between roads for miles. So basically, it's a really nice little roadless area in the green elevation bands. And I'm going to see if I can find some deer. Whether it's fresh sheds or old, I'm not going to be picking. Now, the elevation bands that I mentioned, they are brand new for Scout to Hunt. I'm going to show some footage here of how they work before we head out there. And I just want to mention one more thing. You guys can now download Scout to Hunt um, for Androids. It was only available for iPhones, but now it is available for Androids and it is free. So you can use the link in my description box to download it. Free mapping app, best mapping app. I love it. I've been using it for years, so I highly recommend it. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to use these new elevation band features and we're gonna hit the road. All right, so to show you, I'm just picking a random spot by Evanston, Wyoming. You'll see I'm zooming in and out here. And I'm going to show you how to put these layers on. This is a brand new feature, and what's cool about it is you can use these elevation layers, these elevation bands, to look for new shed hunting spots. So you'll see I just clicked the map layer to turn them on. I personally have had the best luck in green and yellow bands for where I've found sheds in the past. So when I'm looking for new shed country, I'm gonna look for those green and yellow bands. And then I also usually have other layers on such as public land, private land, BLM, etc. So now I just held down on the screen and made a marker. I'm just scrolling through the markers so you guys can see. There are some new ones that I don't recognize and they are pretty dang cool. And what's cool is you can see at the top that it says your elevation and your longitude and latitude. I use that feature a lot in the elevation bands as well if you're familiar with an area and know the deer or the elk sh seem to shed at a very familiar, very specific place. You can look at that elevation number on the top of the screen. You can also see north, south, east, and west. So that is really, really handy. So here I'm just turning on some different layers so you guys can see. The private one is super handy if you're in spots where private and public boundaries exist a lot. Looks like that's the case in Evanston. But yeah, so many different features and the fact that it's available for Android now is huge. So no matter what phone you have, Apple or Android product, you can now download Scout to Hunt totally for free. So definitely get after that. It's linked in my description and we will get right back to the video. All right, decided to take the Roxer, my fun little red turbo diesel jeep type thing <laughs> and the reason is it's like above 40 so it feels really warm like I was saying it's not really technically warm but it was warm enough in this all bundled up so I'm all ready to hike now I don't know how warm or cold I'm gonna be I guess we'll figure that out I have layers and gloves and stuff in my backpack if needed but we're just gonna start hiking and seeing what this place is all about. First things I do when I roll up to a shed spot is I marked my location of my Jeep so that I can find it and get back to it on Scout to Hunt. 
hunt and I started a tracker. Let's go. All right, so I feel like I talk about this every shed hunting video, but I always find roads and four-wheeler tracks from places that are not actual roads. So this is another thing where Scout to Hunt comes in really handy as a mapping app. You can see what is an actual, a legal open road. And guys, I highly, I highly recommend checking that out because like someday you will get caught. It's illegal to Baja in Utah and you know, it will catch up with you, I promise. Or someone will catch you on a trail camera, just saying. So looking into this hike, there was a lot of dead animals, a lot of dead deer, fawns, um, a handful of dead bucks that have shed their antlers, but mostly old stuff an old sign lots of sign from the summer you'll see here i'm looking at a north facing slope from a south facing slope it was quite steep and unfortunately it started out as a beautiful day and then this brutal storm came in so i actually only ended up hiking for about six miles um had to turn around a lot sooner than I wanted to because it started to snow, which was not my favorite thing. <laughs> I went out in the Jeep to enjoy some sunshine, you know? But this was an area I've never been to and the sign was really good. The deer trails were really prominent, as you can see one that I'm on here. The sign was amazing. Like, it, there are for sure deer sheds in this general area. So I'm definitely gonna come back um, even though there's these discouraging roads that aren't roads. <laughs> That's the tough thing about the desert is it's so easy to drive back in there, right? That you, a lot of people just Baja and drive everywhere if they're cool with breaking the rules. But yeah, lots of, and like a lot of the tracks I saw were big buck tracks, some recent, some old, lots from summer. So it could be a potential hunting spot at some point. Greetings from the editing bench. Thank you guys so much for watching that video. So like I said, unfortunately it was this beautiful, Beautiful day and then the storm rolled in fast and it was really really windy it started to snow and I had to turn around and start heading back just wasn't the kind of conditions I wanted to be out in for all day but I still did spend quite a, a good amount of time back there and I have a good idea for the area now and where I would go next time so definitely look for another video I'll go back out there um, we've definitely been having better weather scattered here and there, so that's good for shed hunting. I don't like going out and freezing my butt off. I like, you know, these like, I like these spring temperatures like 50s and 60s that are warm and you can work really hard and hike a lot, but you know, it's not that warm where you're like sweating bullets. And that time is literally like a couple weeks away, especially for the elk sheds. So stay tuned for more shed hunting videos. I actually have gone out since this, so lots more shed hunting videos coming out soon. Definitely check out the Scout to Hunt app. Like I said, you guys have nothing to lose because it's free. You and all your friends can get it and share markers together and it can be a grand old time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that video. We'll see you on the next one here shortly. Thank you for watching. Hit the thumbs up button, please. Okay, bye guys.